Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video I'm going to be restoring and customizing a Matchbox Superfast Corvette T-Roof. These were produced from 1982 all the way until 2013. And this little blue one here was produced from 1985 until 1986. Taking a closer look at it off of the turntable, you can see that paint job is pretty heavily chipped and worn away there. Tampos are sort of half gone. Scruffy old looking wheels on it. You can't really see through that windscreen anymore, although I think that might just be dust and dirt. It's missing a steering wheel and the gear shift there. It's got a nice solid metal base on it. That had a lot more paint on it at some point. So yeah, all around it's seen a bit of action. So let's crack on and take it apart. There are two posts on this car. I'll drill both of those out. Now I can pop the base off. Came apart super easy this car. It was a real pleasure. There's the dirty interior. And the windscreen there. And here is our car body ready for some paint stripper. I'll paint some of that on and all the paint will wrinkle up and then I can wash it off with some water. This was what I was left with. There's not much paint left on there. It's got a bit of oxidation. So I'll give it a clean up with the wire wheel on my Dremel. And here it is after burnishing, looking a bit cleaner and shinier. It's not the smoothest looking casting in the world, so I'm going to have to tidy it up a little bit. Before I do that, I'll just drill and tap the rivet posts using a 1.7mm drill and a 256 tap. go now I can use some little button head screws to put it together again the roof is just a tiny bit bent in so I'm just going to carefully bend that back up as straight as I can using my fingers be careful not to push it too far and break it Taking a look at the casting surface, you can see there's some pretty rough areas on it. And there's an also a quite unsightly ding in the front there. So the first thing I did was filled up that little ding with a dot of Starbond thick super glue. Just use a little bit of the accelerant to set it. And then I could sand that down. And then I gave the rest of the casting a bit of a sanding, focusing on the roughest areas. And this was how it looked after that treatment. You can see the front bumpers fixed there. It was kind of hard to see, but you'll see later when it's got a bit of paint on it. And the sides are a bit smoother there, the bonnet. So it's ready for some paint now, I think. I'll start out with a coat of black primer.
Now I'm going to do this car in a nice candy orange. So as a base for that, I'll paint some chrome over the black primer. And then it was given four coats of dark candy yellow. Actually looks like a light orange. And then I gave it two coats of candy orange over the top of that. Also printed out some little MB VET license plates for it. See they were two different sizes. And I used a little bit of PVA glue to glue those in place. I've also detailed the indicators and the rear lights. And then I finished this with a couple of coats of gloss. Now I can move on to the base. How grubby that is in there. So it's been through some mud puddles. Just pop these old worn out wheels out. Next I treated it with the paint stripper. Here it is after the paint's been removed. And finally, I gave it a really good burnishing with the wire wheel. And I think I'm just going to leave it as the bare metal. Now on to the plastic parts. The windscreen and that interior. Again, they're really grubby. All dirt on them. So I'll start out giving them a wash in some soapy water. And here's the interior after a wash. Missing the steering wheel and the gear shift there. So here it is with a replacement steering wheel. I've made a little gear shift out of the tip of a skewer. So I'll just hit that with some grey primer. And then I finished it in a nice coat of black. And here is the windscreen. Underneath all of that dirt, it was actually in really good nick. There wasn't even really any bad scuffing on it. So all I did was give it a really good polish with some plastic polish. And this was how it came out. I think that's looking pretty good. So finally, I'm just going to have to deal with these old scruffy wheels. I'm going to be reusing those. Let's put them to the side and here I've got some replacement aftermarket ones. Of course these have unpainted rims so I gave them a coat of black primer and then painted them with chrome. Here they are with the tyres back on, ready to go on the car. So there's all the hard work done and here are all the parts of our little Corvette refurbished, repainted and ready to go back together. And this car popped back together as easy as it came apart. So while I'm doing that let's just take a moment to look back and be reminded of what we started with. Here it is, our chipped and worn little Matchbox Corvette T-roof. Looks like it's been getting beat round ever since the middle of the 80s but it's still made it and ready for a clean up so let's see what we can do. And here it is our finished Matchbox super fast Corvette T-roof. It's been stripped down, tidied up and put back together with a nice new candy orange paint job. It's been detailed inside and out. You can now see through that windscreen and it looks nice and shiny. It's got those custom Corvette license plates and of course those awesome looking aftermarket wheels. And this is actually quite a nice looking model by Matchbox and I'm pretty happy with how this has come out. I really like that candy orange. I spent quite a while thinking about what colour I'd do this car. 
and I really like how it's come out. You can let me know what you think in the comments down below. Before I go, I'll throw out a massive thanks to my awesome Patreon supporters who helped to support the channel through Patreon. I welcome my newest Patreon supporter, Eric. Thanks heaps for the support, mate. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to help out as well, you can check out my Patreon page. There's a link in the description down below. There's also a link where you can get 10% off some Starbond super glue. Thanks heaps for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you'd like to see similar stuff, remember to subscribe and click the bell. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.